You know my friends, my true obsession with lipsticks and today I got my hands on the new Tone 4 Slim Lip Color Shine, a new formulation for Tone 4. And I'm very honest with you, I love the formulas of lipsticks from Tone 4, from the bullet lipsticks to the lip glosses, the liquid lipsticks too. And as soon as I saw these ones, I was like, oh yes, I really want to try them. They are right now available at various retailers. I will be leaving all those details in the description box below along with the links for your convenience and easy shopping. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Jacqueline and I do film in natural light with a 4K camera. As you can tell, I have naked lips because we're going to be doing lip and arm swatches. These lipsticks are made in La Bella Italia in Italy. They cost $50 each and they come in 10 different shades. Look at this sleek stiletto like component. So, oh, mm. This is just so feminine. It kind of reminds you to a cigarette. I don't smoke. <laughs> and I don't find it really like feminine to smoke. But but you know, it's just, there's something very special about this very sleek component. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. The amount of product that you get here is very little. 0 0.03 ounces or 0.9 grams. So let me just squeeze this up so you can see how much product you get. Now, these are not refillable which I think that's that's something that Tom Ford really needs to work nowadays is to refill. So it's very thin and little product. I do have here a Chanel Rouge Allure L'Estre. These are refillable and this is kind of like counterpart in terms of the shape, kind of this idea of very slim kind of product. But you see like the thickness of these, you get a lot more product with the one from Chanel, aside that they are refillable. In terms of the formulation, what is different? What is new? Um, reading here at Tom Ford's website, it says that it's formulated with a combination of waxes, patent polish glamour with a unique combination of waxes. And what they have highlighted is that it's formulated without drying alcohol, silicones, mineral oil, parabens, phthalates, petrolatum, formaldehydes, donors, sulfates, sulfides, triclosan, triclocarbon, BHT, BHA, talc peroxide, hydroquinone, and coal tar. So those are the basic highlights of this product. I love the cap too. You have the TF right there. And we're going to start first with the shade 151 Iconic Nude. One fifty open back. Oh, this shade has a little bit of a sheen to it. One hundred, one hundred. Now this is a deeper warm rose. This is a lighter rose, and this is more of like a honey tone. Velvet tux. A true blue rose. Alrighty, my friends, what do I think about this formulation? Let's talk about the finish. It's more of like a satin finish. They do have a ton of pigmentation. It's easy to apply, but at the same time, it takes a little bit longer because the bullet is so slim. But with that being said, it makes it very easy for very precise application. I honestly do not feel that you necessarily need a lip liner with these lipsticks because of how pigmented they are. So they already kind of like outline your lips. I know, I know some people prefer lip liners. I love lip liners too, don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is that each of the shades, they do have so much pigment that they really have that kind of contour effect on your lips. One thing that I noticed is that the three first shades that I swatched, they were supposed to be the lightest shades, but they are not super light. These are intense, rich colors. The lightest one is open back. This one right here that I know is one that I'm going to use a ton. Same thing with this shade over here is, oh, stunning. It is stunning. The shade is 
incredible so beautiful and it pairs so well with my makeup everything that i have on today that by the way all those details also will be on the description box below in terms of the texture they definitely feel waxy in terms of like they hug your lips you can feel the wax in and you can feel that your lips are going to stay put on now it doesn't have any claims that they are transfer proof i don't think this will be transfer proof to be honest with you i will report back whether they leave me a stain or how long they last or how they fade most likely i will leave it on a pin comment so while you're leaving your comment check on that pin comment that i will be leaving in terms of wear and all that jazz and if they feel drying at all i don't feel that they are drying i actually feel that they are moisturized but they do have a grip so i don't feel like they are too moisturized in terms that they are going to slip and slide and move too much and even though they do have more of a satin finish they are not the ultra shiny satin finish hopefully that makes sense now i'm going to be very honest with you the amount of product that you get here is very little you do not need a lot of product because the lipsticks they do have ultra pigmentation need to be considered although these lipsticks are not as pricey as say hermes or other lipsticks that are just uber uber pricey even though they are from tone 4 now in terms of packaging i mean like I'm just saying, <laughs> this is just so sleek, so beautiful, so feminine, and kind of more discreet in general, because yes, although, I mean like, how to be discreet with something like so unique as this, but it doesn't look like too chunky, you know what I mean? I think they really did a beautiful job in terms of the packaging and whatnot. Things that I wish that they would have done, a magnetic closure instead of a clip closure, and for them to be refillable. I would love to hear from you which of all these shades you like the most, or which ones you are eyeing, because aside to the ones that I have swatched today, there are many red shades. I think there's an orangey tone, one that is more like bumpy tone too. So there are many different shades. Which one is the one that is calling your attention, or perhaps have you already got your hands on these, or which ones are going on your wish list? If these video have served you of any help i will greatly appreciate if you can give it a thumbs up because i'm trying my best for this year to really hit the 100k subscribers i know it seems like a lot but we just hit 28k subscribers so welcome to all of you my new subscribers and thank you so much as always for your support so anyhow friends leave your comment on the section down below if you are not yet subscribed to my channel i invite you to do so make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads if you on instagram and tiktok please come and follow me there what's next here on my youtube channel i do have a ton of reviews we're going to be reviewing the new chanel matte lipsticks i'm going to be reviewing the new gourlan concealer the new gourlan blushes perhaps that review will be before i mean i have a ton of new content that i'm super excited to share with you in the meantime i will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye-bye.